Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good wherever you are. Sorry it's been such a long time since my last video, it's uh, just that as you know I had a problem with my first 3G iPhone and uh, it's taken a while for the second one to get here but finally it's here. Um, sorry I haven't done a video in such a while um, or the review because I've had this a few days now, it's because I haven't been uh, very well and uh, still feeling a bit under the weather so please bear with me. Uh, I want to thank everyone because I've reached 100 subscribers. Uh, I want to thank everyone also for uh, the comments and everything that you leave. Um, I love love reading them, so please, um, you know, just leave a comment, whatever, you know, video response. Um, I'm happy to help, or just leave a comment because I love reading them. So uh, let's get down to the review. We don't want this one. We want this one with this. Whoops, yeah. I have two iPhones, they're both exactly the same. Um, as you know, I had a problem with my iPhone, which is why I haven't done a review. Except I've fixed this one now, it's working completely fine. There's not a problem at all with it. Um, so yeah, that, that's great. I found a way of fixing it. And um, I will put another, uh, mid um, not video, um, information in the sidebar of the video when I had a problem with this one. So if anybody else has the same problem, they can find a way to fix it. I'll do that pretty soon. So this one works fine, etc. etc. So that's all good. Put that one away. And this is the one I'm using for the moment, just because I am. So down to the review. What I found a bit um, into my SMS is that do a new one. I'm not sure, because sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. And probably knowing my luck, it won't happen. But I have a lot of keyboard lag. See, it doesn't happen here. Um, you know, when I'm typing, sometimes it freezes, you know, for a good 10 seconds. And, you know, that's not very good, you know, when you're typing. You don't want the keyboard to uh, freeze on you. So it freezes and there's a lot of lag, which I find, you know, sort of bad. And I didn't really experience that one. I think I experienced it once with the first generation iPhone. Uh, somebody else also asked me about um, typing. I type, when I type a text message, I will type the traditional way, like this. And that works fine for me. And now I can do it actually pretty fast. But if you're the sort of person who wants to type, like this, it's quite difficult because you can sort of, I don't know if you can see it, when you're typing, the thing sort of, uh, the uh, phone wobbles. So if you type like that, you know, that's, that's not very good, but that's only a minor thing and I don't type like that, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, what I found with the, uh, sorry, this is the 3G iPhone, uh, in case you haven't guessed, is that the battery life. I've just charged it, so I've got a full battery up here. Nowhere near as good as the first gen. It drains really quickly. And, you know, you if you're going out for the day or something, there's not, not a lot left at the end of the day. Even if you don't use much, there's still not a lot left, which isn't very good. Um, hopefully they'll find a way of fixing that or something. I have no idea. But it's a shame uh, that the battery life's not as good. So, if you're going out for more than a day, you definitely have to take your charger with you. Uh, GPS. Now, I've got pros and cons about that. It's brilliant. It's got me out of some tight situations where I've had absolutely no idea where I am. But it drains the battery like hell. I mean, you use it for 10 minutes, and I've got a full battery, or 98% battery. It's just drained to like 50. And it's awesome. Can't wait directions. Um, but you know, that's uh, pretty bad. So I love using it, but I can't use it too often, which is a shame because it's really, really useful. Definitely beats, um, I have a, what I have, a TomTom? -tom? Yeah, definitely beats that by miles. Uh, the speaker volume, it's brilliant. It's so much louder than uh, the first generation. And I had the 16 gig in that, which I felt that had improved sound quality on the 8GB 
and this is improved quality on that so you can obviously tell how much better it is speakers are a bit smaller but that doesn't really make any difference because it's louder and you know the volume doesn't have to go up to the max um, so that's really good uh, what else? the app store I find that really really useful um, there's a lot of good stuff on there I'm not going to talk about it much because I'll do like a top 10 app type of thing for you guys um, soon I hope and it's good because you have new apps and what's hot <laughs> then you have the top 25 top paid and top free which is good let's have a look at the top free app shall we brain tuner let's see what that is I think I've got that actually here's me not talking very much about the apps obviously yeah I'll talk about that one later because otherwise I'm just gonna waffle on and you're gonna get bored and whatever um, also about mail uh, I have a Yahoo Mail account set up on my mail, like this. All the messages from Facebook. Um, you know, uh, what I found is that with this, um, I'm not sure if it's with the 2.0 software update, or the 2.01, etc, etc, or if it's different to the iPhone. On this iPhone, I can click and Word documents um, can appear. So that's really useful if you get sent Word documents, etc haven't really been sent anything else other than Word documents I uh, haven't really tried it with videos that would be quite interesting so if anyone has please let me know if, if you can so that's that's really useful um, also the non-recessed headphone jack you can now put any one, it's a 3.5mm jack and now you, you can now put any headphones in whatsoever so that's great um, also the plastic instead of the aluminium uh, I've noticed has a much stronger signal and I can get you know Wi-Fi really strong and 3G strong and everything I've noticed that that definitely makes it better so yeah that's pretty much my review you know I think I think it's a really good buy apart from my troubles we'll forget those also I've noticed scientific calculator you turn it like that so yeah, um, definitely, if 3G speeds are important to you, and this mail thing is important to me, this is really helpful, uh, yeah, you know, if, if I think the main thing if you want to switch is, if 3G is important to you, then that's the reason you'd switch, because I can't really think of any other, you know, huge differences between the first gen and the 3G. So I uh, hope this helped a little bit, sorry I've been a bit, you know, under the weather, so not really feeling that great today. Please, you know, leave a video response, comment, whatever, um, email or something. I'll be happy to help. Uh, hopefully, another video coming soon. See you guys. Have a great time wherever you are. Bye.